right, we're gonna be installing some six by 24 porcelain wood look tile. I believe the client got this tile at Home Depot, so this is easy to get. The tools we're gonna need are whatever you can see on this video. It's a hand cutter, tape measure, pencil, chuck line, broom, margin trowel, a quarter by half trowel, a bucket, and the first step is going to be clearing out the room in this case we have a bunch of supplies because we've been working on this house for the past week but in your case you may have furniture that needs to be moved out of the way so grab a bucket a sponge and some clean water and get to cleaning that floor we need to get rid of any dust and any debris that may be behind such as paint so you also may need to pull out a scraper in my case we had already done the scraping before really didn't need to do any more uh, scraping but the cleaning all right, in order for us to tile this room, we actually need to start backwards. We need to start from the farthest wall and finish by the door. That way, so we can get out. Um, in our case, we have a bunch of floor already laid in this house. So we're gonna take a measurement and, and measure our way from the door down to the wall. And I'm gonna leave my space maybe about two feet to tile. Um, if you don't, you know, if you're only doing one room, you're gonna have to just lay out the tile on the floor and measure that way. It is very important that you use the right thin set. In our case, we need a large format tile thin set, and that's what we're gonna be using. If you use any others that's not rated for large format tiles, it's gonna sag and you're gonna have a hell of a time trying to lay this tile. There are some rules on wood look tile when you lay it in random pattern. This is called an H joint, which you're trying to avoid. You're also trying to avoid laying tiles less than five inches apart from each uh, vertical joint and you're trying to avoid ladder patterns like this one unless it's requested by the client and we finally got to laying some tiles start spreading i like to work my way from right to left or you can do left to right whatever floats your boat uh one trick though so you don't get any thin set in between the joints clean your joints like this shown on the video please do it so it makes your life easier when you actually go to grout you don't spend three weeks and a half to um clean your joints when you get to the other wall and you start doing cuts, measure, snap, score, and boom. In my case, the baseboards are up about a half inch, so I can actually not measure exactly. I just need to make sure I measure uh, to the baseboard or even an eighth or a quarter over, and it's going to work. In order to mark your next line, you're going to need to measure four tiles plus their joints. So four tiles and four joints because that's about the, the reach of my arms uh, comfortably and mark your line start laying some tiles go into the closets or whatever you have tile in the closet first and then get out through the door so you're gonna need to do some figuring out uh doing one side and the other and then work your way out of the door if you notice we are not using any spacers these tiles are really inconsistent so what we're doing is just marking our lines and then just playing with the joint size in between those four tiles uh just kind of eyeballing the size and calling it a when day. you get to the l cuts or u cuts you are going to need a wet saw or a grinder a grinder is a lot cheaper than a wet saw but if you have access to renting a wet saw that's going to be a lot better option uh you may still need a grinder but then again a wet saw is a better option um that's about it for the steps just keep going all the way until you reach the door and you're going to be done i'm going to leave you with the time lapse of the rest of the room and enjoy what you're watching please let me know if you like this or if you have any questions that i did not cover in the video goodbye and thank you like and subscribe